As far as the ear anatomy that's important, we do have this external ear, as I talked about before. This would be the orifice, and that's where you have all these folds. And then you start down the ear canal, and that varies from 5 to about 10 centimeters in length. Some really giant you know, wolfhounds, you might see 11, but generally speaking, 5 to 10 centimeters, uh, even if you're going in a cat, a chihuahua, all the way up to a, a big dog. The canal is divided into a vertical canal, which goes rostral ventral, and there's an auricular projection as you start down the canal that's rarely shown on any diagrams. And that auricular projection will get in the way of your otoscope comb. In fact, this is relatively newly named. For years, this wasn't named in any anatomy book. And Dr. Alexander Delahunta, when he was in retirement, uh, I talked to him about this structure, and he recommended the name auricular projection. And that's because it is a car piece of the cartilage that forms this little bulge out. It's covered in skin, and it projects into the lumen of the ear canal. And it kind of blocks you from seeing down that ear canal. And if this is inflamed, it can be very painful. So a lot of people, if you go to examine an ear and the dog's fighting you, and I examine the ear and the dog doesn't fight me, one of the things that makes that big difference is whether or not you bang the tip of the cone into this. Because if you start hitting the, co the otoscope cone on this auricular projection, nobody likes it. So your job is to get under that. Here's how you do that. So when you go to do an otoscopic exam, if you pull dorsal and then lateral pressure on that pinna, that's what straightens and moves that auricular projection out of the way. And the way I do an otoscopic exam is I don't stick the cone down and then look. Most vets or that I see that have trouble doing an otoscopic exam, they shove the cone in the ear, then they start looking. I'm actually starting to look the minute the cone enters that external orifice and I'm watching to see where's the auricular projection. And I'm getting it out of my way and putting the end of that cone under it. And it seems like a pretty basic thing, but I've worked with plenty of veterinarians where that's the difference when they're having trouble examining an ear.